How's it going everyone? I'm Chris Grona with I Think I Can Productions. Today we're going to be doing another episode of What I Think and we're going to be reviewing the Zakuto gear. Okay, so starting out we're going to check out the Z Finder Pro. This is the V2 edition but I've upgraded all the parts so that it's compatible with the anti-fog cover, the new lens cap, and the protective eyepiece so you don't scratch it during travel. Also bought this protective bag, you really want to make sure that you don't scratch the inside as well. It does come with a diopter, it's three times magnification. When you look into it, you can adjust the focus to fit your needs. This is going to be really critical for event style shooting. I don't find that uh, the Z Finder is too necessary for when you're on a tripod. You can actually zoom in on the camera. When you're doing stationary shots like this one, this uh, definitely can be kept in the bag. But it is critical for event, handheld shooting, all sorts of critical focus as well as uh, if you don't want to waste your time zooming in every shot. Also, uh, the thing that's very exciting is this is going to be completely compatible with their new EVF system which is electronic viewfinder. It's basically a small LCD panel that's going to be hooked onto this. You're going to plug it into the camera and you'll be able to view all your images through this. I've bumped into this thing so many times and it's never popped off the back of my camera luckily. Sometimes I like to tie this to the tripod and maybe just knot it so it does bump off it comes right back down. So the last thing I want to leave you with with a viewfinder is don't go cheap on these. Make sure you get a Zacuto product that is a quality viewfinder with quality magnification. I have seen ones that are cheap alternatives. I'm not going to name any brands but they definitely don't do the job as good as this. I really enjoy this and I've seen other products where the magnification and the glass quality isn't as good, they're cheap, and they break easily. Next up is the shoulder mount. This is uh, two seven inch rods with a female and male end. You'll be able to remove these, so if you'd like to use longer rods. One thing about the shoulder mount, you do need to buy an extra piece to make sure this thing goes down securely. Um, I was wondering how that worked when I first got it, but it's this piece right here. You put this on, tighten these down, and now it's perfectly secure. Okay, so you got rods in all shapes and sizes from Zakudo. Um, really custom needs, or you could buy a kit. I prefer to customize because, you know, my needs are different from everyone else's. But uh, this is really cool. I mean, they just lock in like that, and you can also buy adapters. But I prefer, if I want a longer rod, screw it in, thread lock it with red thread locker it works really great won't come undone and you can always break them apart if need be and it won't cause any damage to the threads so the next thing i have is a zakuto handle it's a uh, really lightweight i love how the middle here is completely bare because it really allows your hand to breathe your hand doesn't get sweaty during the day while you're trying to film and this thing i mean it you can literally tighten it with one thumb and it will not come undone Okay, so next up we have the gun stock. Uh, this is basically keeps your camera balanced by pushing on your shoulder. That way it doesn't go forward or backwards as much. Still does a little bit, but if you have the Z Lightweight Double on there, it definitely balances out really nicely and you have a really solid piece of equipment on your shoulder. So let's do a quick time lapse, put this thing together and see what I can come up with. So my final review for Zakuto products are 9 out of 10. I think they're very functional. You can use them on events, uh, a lot of handheld style shooting, all sorts of stuff. They're very durable and long lasting. Of course they come with a lifetime warranty, but I don't even think you'll need it because I don't think these things can break. Also the growability of the rig is really cool because you can just start out with a few pieces and then eventually grow it to a shoulder rig like I did. The only downside I see to the Zakuto products is there is a pretty high price but it's definitely worth the price. Thanks again for watching. This has been another episode of What I Think here at I Think I Can Productions. Thank you very much. I'm Chris Grono. Stay tuned next week when we review more gear.